Hi guys! Come along with me as I investigate the behavior of the people of the United Arab Emirates and the Russian Federation. We began in the United Arab Emirates. Let's go! Kipalik, Pilipinas! Every year, many people arrive in the United Arab Emirates for work and business, while even more come to travel and see the sights. Though the country welcomes visitors with open arms, it does so with a set of policies and guidelines, just like any other culture. It has own set of do's and don'ts. So for sure, we all need to know their etiquettes, especially if you are a newcomer or expecting some first-time visitors to the United Arab Emirates. It helps to know certain rules of etiquette and behavior. So today, we'll present some of the most important guidelines related to the dress code, gestures and interactions, public behavior, social media behavior, relationships, and the other matters. Hi guys! If you are going to UAE, you should dress modestly, especially when going out to the public. UAE known as a conservative country, it does not allow its tourists to dress in a way that could disrespect their culture. To be respectful of the UAE culture, it is best to remain covered from shoulder at least to the knees. If you are going to private pools and beaches, use swimwear but cover up, just like on the picture. Do not engage in cross-dressing or wearing clothes of your opposite gender. Under UAE law, charges related to illicit showing of homosexuality is punishable with up to 10 years imprisonment, fines, and deportation. Do not wear shirt that contain text or images that offensive to religion and culture of UAE. Gestures and interaction Do not point with your fingers cause pointing with your fingers is considered rude and disrespectful especially when you're pointing to a person. Do, do stand up when you're meeting new people older or higher ranking and guests. When a woman enters the room, men are also expected to stand up. Don't offer alcohol drinks and pork to a Muslim guest. Don't offer handshake when greeting a member of opposite sex who is Muslim. Wait them to offer their hands first before shaking them. These are the some of the most important rules when visiting the United Arab Emirates. They may seem rather strict, but let us remember that they are based on the country's culture and religion. To avoid getting in trouble, it is the best to follow these guidelines as well as to be respectful at all times. Shukran lang! Hi guys, let's move on to the next country, which is the Russian Federation. Let's go! The world's largest country offers it all. From historic cities and idyllic countryside to artistic riches, epic train rides and a vodka-fueled nightlife. Russia is vast, geographically and culturally, so best viewed as a collection of distinct territories, each one deserving separate attention. Here, Moscow and St. Petersburg are the must-see destinations, and within easy reach are towns and villages that measure up to the rural Russia of popular imagination. What if one day you're given a chance to go to Russia? Do you know what to do? For sure, you need to know a thing or two about their etiquettes. And here's the thing give you some reasons why we should visit Russia. Let's go! Russia is well recognized for being the largest country on the planet. With nearly a sixth of the world landmass, it's unsurprising that the country is a culturally, historical, and visual diverse. Moscow Red Square Photos, 641 by 530. Travelers anxious to discover the genuine personality of an unexpected. So move on. Now let's talk about the rules and etiquette in Russia. So these are the traditional and rules of a Russia people. Let's get started. First, 
Russian greeting etiquette. Shake hands. When you first met a Russian male or female, you should show respect by shaking hands firmly with eye contact. Not looking on their eyes show as disrespect manner. Men should wait for women offer her hand first. And do not shake the hand unless you enter the room. I am radio talk show host, political analyst, and all around D-list celebrity immigrant, Tim Kirby. And today we have a very interesting cultural topic. You know how in some East Asian countries, they use chopsticks or bow to greet each other? Well, there's kind of an important Russian equivalent of that, handshaking. Yes, handshake culture. That's our topic for today. Well, so if you are a man, and if you are going to be working in Russia, then you are going to have to adapt to what I call handshake culture. And probably the first and most important thing is that you must shake hands with everyone when you get to work, especially if you work in a close group. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Sorry for being late. Now, I'm skipping Natasha on purpose. We'll get to the issues regarding the ladies later. But shaking hands is actually so important that you must even do it with the cameraman. Hello, sir. Hello. You might be asking yourselves, Tim, is it really that important, these handshake rules that you're going to show us? Yes. Yes, these rules really are that important. If you want to work in Russia or even just have normal friendships or normal interaction with people, then when in Rome, you've got to do as the Romans. And uh, if you don't follow the handshake rules, you're going to always be an outsider. An outsider. And who wants to be an outsider? You want to be inside Russia, right? Right? It's a surgical quartier. No, blin. Uh, well, not only is it important to uh, greet everyone and shake hands when you arrive at work, but you also need to shake hands when you leave. In fact, there's a term for this in Russian called obhod, which means to walk around. As in, walk around the office, the gas station, wherever you happen to work. Okay, forget these. Let's go. Ah. Smile and bow. For all the circumstances, this is the most simple method. If other greeting make you uncomfortable, just stick to this and, and you'll be good. Second, food and dining etiquette. When you should start eating, don't start eating before everyone has arrived at the table. This is considered impolite in Russian dining etiquette. And also, in paying bills, the first rule of Russian restaurant etiquette is to pay. If you're visiting Russian friends for a short time, they almost certainly pay for your meals as a gesture of hospitality. When you go to a restaurant with your Russian friend, though you'll notice that when it comes to paying, everyone looks over the bill and pays for their own food. If Russians wants to split the bill, he can do so. Third, drinking manners. Making toast. When you're making a toast, no one should drink at the table in Russia without making a toast. It's a well-known Russian custom that demonstrates their conscience of their surroundings and wish to share the occasion. People usually clink glasses after making a toast. After that, everyone takes a drink. Don't put an empty bottle at the table, especially when it is alcohol, because putting empty bottle at the table is considered as a bad luck. Empty bottle should put under the table or should pass to the waiter. What clothes you should wear in Russia? Ladies must take an extra care and they must cover their hair with scarf and head scarves. Pan and jeans are not permitted. It is better to wear a long loose skirts and turtle neck tops. At slow all cut blouses are not also allowed. Hey guys and that's all for today. Thank you for listening and hope you learned something from us. Thank you for watching. Bye. Peace.